Why are you putting... No. Why are you... Really? You gonna be done? You gonna keep going? Why are you... Okay, come here. Are you putting off getting a mobility aid because you're just not sure if you need it yet? Or, more accurately, you're afraid ableists are going to come after you for using a wheelchair, right? The whole reason I'm making this video is to kind of, not so much rant. Ew, gross, stupid, rant, rant, rant. But I want to talk, just, you know, sit down with you and I'd be like, look. My ah, friend, my friend. Ah, what? I, I mean this, you need the help. If there's a tool that can help you with your life, help you do more, help you go see more, help you save energy and be able to go to more cool things and events, why refuse that tool that's meant to make your life better? I don't want to see you waste opportunities. Now again, am I a hypocrite because I literally did the same thing and refused it until I absolutely 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 needed it and in fact i'm probably too sick to use it most of the time oh, i'm such a hypocrite but when i do i use it and if i had been using it a couple years earlier that frustrates the heck out of me thinking about how much better i could be if i had just freaking gotten my pride out of the way and freaking used it wheelchair whiz and yes, this is how I normally act. I've always been compared to a cartoon character, and today I happen to have a little bit of energy because I'm hopped up on caffeine. Coffee. The bitter liquid that provides the only semblance of pleasure left in these dark times. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I'm sort of a hypocrite, but I'm also hoping you learn from my mistakes, if that makes sense. I don't know yet. I mean, basically, wheelchairs, scooters, whatever, they give you back your independence. When you're starting to lose your independence just because everything's crumbling down, when it rains, it pours, your life is just crashing. My life sucks! <coughs> you get a lot of independence back because of these things. These tools are meant to give you back your independence. And they do. But not if you wait too long like I did and you can barely use them as it is. <laughs> Too late, hot plate. Ah, crap! Oh, and contrary to popular belief, no, there is no age limit for using a wheelchair or a scooter. I mean, it's literally just a freaking chair with wheels. Hey, they got chairs with wheels. And no, you don't have to be a paraplegic either. That's a very ableist and... Not even ableist. It's just a very ignorant thing that people are saying because there are so many fakers in the news that people are extra hypersensitive to this right now. Dude, I saw it on Reddit. But if you calmly explain to them, especially if you're like me and you got an actual prescription for it, be like, look, I have a disability, but I'm not a paraplegic. Do you have a problem with that? Works great. <laughs> Thus intimidating one's opponent. Yeah, it feels embarrassing. Yeah, you feel like you don't actually need it when, yeah, you do. Peter, I don't need to be in a wheelchair. I understand the reasons why you really, really don't want to give in. In fact, part of it is by you getting a wheelchair, you are admitting you're not going to get better, it feels like. Or you're jinxing it. Or blah, 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 you know, like... I'm a failure. But that's not true. It's not? It's not? In fact, you get it, you use it, you learn how to pace faster, you learn how to save energy better. You might actually recover faster by using these tools. There's a reason they're, they're health-related tools. It's good work. So don't let these things stop you like they stopped me. Please don't let them. Please don't let them. Okay, fine, but only because we're desperate. Now here's the other thing. Okay, you have a wheelchair. You don't have to use it 24-7. You only really have to use it when you actually need it. When you're having a really bad flare day. When you are so out of it and kind of wobbly that you're banging against the walls. Oh, I'm not going to do a wall. What am I going to do? <laughs> you know, just a thought. Just a thought. <laughs> 
a couple years ago, I went to Las Vegas and you can rent scooters there. And that was awesome because I was fully expecting everyone to be mad at me, to be calling me out, to be giving me the stare down, you know, the rock stare down and just judging me like crazy. No. In fact, people barely even notice they wouldn't get out of the way half the time. Excuse me, move it. And yeah, there are jerks. Every once in a while, there are. They exist. Cripple, 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 cripple. But they, these trolls exist in every aspect of life. You literally can't live without trolls calling you out for dumb stuff. You're too fat, you're too skinny, you're too poor, you're too rich. The internet is full of weirdos and nerd rage. I mean, there's literally nothing you can do in this world and not have people ever call you out. So if that's stopping you, try and just... Calm down, realize they don't know what they're talking about, and explain to them you have a disability that's not paraplegia, and keep on your merry way. Sassy. What are they gonna do? Take your scooter? <laughs> I've never seen I've never seen or heard of that. True. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. So seriously, go to your doctor, make an appointment, and ask them for a wheelchair assessment. No, I hate the doctor. You have really bad fibromyalgia, you have really bad chronic fatigue syndrome, and it's getting you to the point where you're in bed for days straight. Do this. It will help your quality of life. And if your doctor says no to giving you a wheelchair assessment, say that you want it noted in the notes that they refused and why they refused. And they'll probably change their mind and uh, get you the assessment. I'm not, like, sick sick. Any delusions of you actually being healthy that you have are going to be completely crushed when you go to the physical therapist for this assessment because they literally can feel your muscles, they can tell, and they know from experience what you can and can't do. The physical therapist actually was like, they felt how much muscle I had in my calves and everything. And he was so scared. I was going to fall the whole time. Like, I was like, no, no, I'm fine. And he's like... No, no, I'm holding, I'm holding your belt. No, too bad. <laughs> oh boy, this is embarrassing. I haven't fallen yet, but, but I apparently have so little muscle there that I freaked the heck out of my physical therapist. He didn't even want me to have a prescription for a wheelchair. He wanted me to get a motorized wheelchair. And that's what he wrote the prescription out for. And I was like, okay, uh... Not what I was looking for, but okay, can I get a regular wheelchair prescription too? Because, you know, motorized wheelchairs involve a lot of money, even after insurance. And, you know, you got to get the car that can fit it or the attachment to your car. It's got a wheelchair lift. And all of that costs so much money. No insurance does not cover all of it. In fact, because you're buying it from the reps, of the insurance or the hospital, the insurance jacks up the price. So what I ended up doing, even though I had these prescriptions, which by the way are still good to get whether you use them or not, I ended up getting my motorized scooter uh, off Amazon because it folded up. It was really lightweight. The whole thing weighed only like 60 pounds max. Whereas like the ones the guy was trying to sell us for a ridiculous amount, each part weighed 60 pounds and it was kind of annoying to like put together and take apart like yeah it's more sturdy but first of all we didn't have that kind of money or that kind of strength or that kind of time so by getting this you know amazon scooter that i could just shove together like an accordion and the whole thing weighs 60 pounds so it's a lot easier on my husband's back he just whoop, puts it in the trunk it's that small um and we're off it's so much better and it costed less than what people were saying insurance charged them uh, after they paid their part for the other scooters. And so I was like, well, pfft. Well, buy a wheelchair! Yeah, it was only like a little over a thousand, I think. Only. And I've been using that now for two years? I'm not, I don't remember anymore, actually. Come to think of it, I don't remember anymore. And I have brain fog. But I've been using that for a while now and it's worked great. And so... Moral of that story is clear. The fact that mine was so afraid I was going to fall on my face the whole time showed me how mu how bad I really was and how in denial I was at the time. It was always just me living in denial. And that also helped me in getting better because then I didn't push myself as hard 
which was making me get worse so fast. Everything's fine! I decided to realize how bad I was and let myself heal, but I don't think it ever got cemented in my brain how bad I actually was, even though at that point I, I couldn't work, I couldn't drive, I, I could barely do anything. But for some reason in my head, <laughs> I, I just wasn't that bad. I know I was in complete denial. I, I don't think I would have even applied for, you know, disability if my husband and my doctor hadn't recommended it because I was, I was in that much of a denial. But why? It was a slow decline for me over, for over a decade. So it kind of makes sense. And I know a lot of you are going through it too. And that's half of why I say these embarrassing things is because I know you're going through it too. And I know you need to hear it. No one understands our pain. And I just hope some of you are able to watch long enough uh, uh, through me rambling to get some of these good tips. Please pass this along to anyone you think might benefit from it. And uh, check out this video here for more chronic illness suggestions and help and entertainment and 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 keep on surviving my friends